You guys, I just had the weirdest dream last night. I just woke up, FYI. I had this dream that I was out in the forest with my laptop and I just decided to lay my laptop in this clearing in the woods and then go scamper over to a stream. Don't ask me why. There were birds chirping, butterflies flapping. Then I come back to the clearing in the woods and my laptop is gone and I'm going, why on earth would I leave my laptop in the woods? Like, what was I thinking? And then I got really angry with myself because I knew, well, I'm gonna have to call the police. I was sitting there going back and forth, perseverating over this, like, oh my God, I feel like such a moron. I'm gonna have to call the police and file, you know, a stolen laptop. But what am I gonna tell them? I left my laptop in the middle of the forest. Like they're not gonna be able to track that down. I'm just gonna be wasting their time. I mean, I was sitting there in the middle of this fantasy land forest, a la Narnia, beating myself up for doing the moronic thing of just randomly leaving a laptop in the middle of a forest and scampering away. I don't know if a gnome stole it or what the heck that was about. Glad I woke up from that nightmare. <laughs> it was like a happy dream turned frightening. Is a laptop a life-saving device? No, but uh, when you rely on it for so many things, the idea of it being stolen is not is not something that you want to be contemplating when you're supposed to be getting restorative sleep and repairing. Speaking of which, sleep is so important for your skin. I say this all the time, but I'm going to reemphasize it over re I'm going to emphasize it <clears throat> over and over and over again because you can spend all the money you want on serums, toners, etc. But the sleep is so important and it feeds directly into all of these other factors for your total health, like your blood pressure, blood sugar management, which also impact your skin. All right, uh, lecture and dream recap aside, I'm gonna wash my face after the night I had. All right, man, let's get the little microfiber down. It always annoys me when I'm editing if I have water drips on my tank top like I mean they dry or whatever it's not a big deal but when I'm editing it's just like Ugh. to the slightly damp skin I'm going to come on with this which I have been making my way through making my way through the serum actually deep infusion toner the weather is getting on my nerves too because it's it's like very rainy and so it gets dark I mean, what the heck is the point of spring forward? We're supposed to have all this daylight. Here in Houston, it's a complete waste of time because this April in particular is like a very dark month, most days, because we get all this rain and there are clouds. It's like, what's the point of alleged extra daylight? Bring on the sunshine. Speaking of sunshine, I'm coming in with the Sun Project Skin Relief Sun Cream I reviewed for you guys last weekend. And this is not too bad. Um, I, I think it's a little thicker and creamier compared to the Skin 1004 High Alu Sika. That one has more of that watery, lightweight, hydrating pack of punch. Pack of punch? I don't know. Uh, whereas this is a little bit thicker. But they're both nice. There's no smell to those. I haven't had any coffee. Most of you know that already, but if you're new here, I haven't had my coffee and it's like the most important part of my day. <laughs> so we're gonna go make that. And I don't know what else we'll get into today, but I'm sure it will be the time of your life. All right, water is a boiling and I just took the time to wipe down my countertops for you guys. I swear, if I did not vlog, I would just live in filth. <laughs> I mean, I kind of already live in filth. Oops, I try and keep it clean, but you all motivate me to tidy up more than I would otherwise. <laughs> All right, when I do this, I do 
five scoops of beans. I'm not gonna put this runaway bean in because I just sprayed the counter off with Mrs. Myers and I don't want I don't want a mouthful of Myers. <laughs> I put the grounds in, obviously. Although one time I accidentally put them into my mug, absentmindedly, and that was a mess. Um, I give it a little shake, make sure I get everything in there. This grounder was in a PR gift, and I love it. It's, it's also Badoom or Bottom, Bodum, whatever. Um, all right, and then as far as how much water, I just put, first I do this. I do like, I don't know, roughly, we'll say about there. And then I give it a stir. These, I think, come with the Badoom. I can't remember. The bottom. Uh, I don't have measurements. I just pour to the tippy top. Usually about to there. Look how good it looks already. And it hasn't even cooked. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Why, why would you go to, like, why? Why would you go to Starbucks? I mean, unless you're on a road trip, it's like, I don't understand. Look at that. Look at that. Make your own coffee at home. All right, then I put the timer on for six minutes and I let it incubate for six minutes. Six minutes to paradise. All right, y'all, it's time for me to roll out the Tuscany Candle Cafe Mocha. This is one of my favorite scents from them. All right, six minutes are off. Ooh, and we just plunge nice and slowly. Man, of course I dribble all over the side there. I got, got nervous. <laughs> Stage fright. Ah, uh, there she is. All right guys, I'm fixing to go run some errands and I decided I'm gonna try out the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Lift Mascara. I purchased this yesterday at the drugstore. It got a lot of hype on social media, if you know, you know. Uh, this is not sponsored, in case you were wondering. Now the deal with this mascara is it's got kind of a funny wand. It's got, let's see, it says step one, lift and load your lashes using the front hook bristles applying from root to tip. All right, I guess this is the front hook. Then step two, use the side hook. Sad chick, just kidding. <laughs> uh, use the side hook comb to separate your lashes for added volume and length. Not bad. That side hook, the side hook, I'm sorry it cracks me up. The side hook definitely does bring in uh a little something extra for sure because i was not so i was like whatever this is just kind of a bland mascara but the sad hook really brought it brought it 360. okay let's do the other side All right, let's, let's have it on the sad. I'm sorry, it just makes me laugh. I'm being weird as usual. Huh? Side, side hook really does build upon that base, but don't get too close to the root with the side because it makes it a little clumpy. The side hook is supposed to separate. Y'all let me know what you think down below. Um, it's the first time I'm using this, so I never completely judge a mascara on the first use, because I find by use number three usually is when you have a good sense 
of how it's actually going to go down. But for the first use, not too bad. Is it blowing my mind? No, not at all. I mean, I've had the gamut of drugstore mascaras on here. So far, you know, you know who I need to go back to? The Maybelline Colossal. I used to use that all the time. I need to try, I need to, I need to bring that back into the fold. Um, I've gotten, I've, I've gotten distracted over the years. I get distracted with mascara. So I need to go back to Maybelline Colossal because that was, that never let me down. This is, this is okay so far. It doesn't give the bold lash that I usually like, but it's nice and, you know, it's nice. We'll see, like I said, use number two and three, we'll see how we go, but it's, it's good. I, you know, I don't think it's like the best on first impression, but let me know. Have you guys tried this? I'm here in Target and I'm back here by the meal prep container section. What is this? Beeswax reusable food wraps. Ooh. Ooh, Target got in some new clothing. Kind of very Memorial Day weekend, 4th of July-esque. I like these tops, but I don't know. They look like they are midriff showing, which fine if that's your vibe, but I always feel like drafty and weird. <laughs> uh, these shorts are cute though. I feel like they're really well made. New Day is a good brand. This looks like it'd be too short. I like that purse though. Oh, tailored shorts. Those are cute. Those are green. Ribbed tanks are nice. These little tennis dresses, 20% off. These kind of things are always comfy to wear in the summer. Have a little flair to the skirt too. Whoa, check out all the pink over here. These sleeves, they look nice on some people, but I always feel like, I don't know, I'm some kind of a mattress cover whenever I wear those. It's like a fitted sheet. And they tend to have a lot of puffed sleeves in it. They got the swimwear in, and I like these colors. That's a nice top. Target bathing suits, they last a good while. They're pretty good quality. I feel as if I had a bathing suit like that when I was a child. Like, not this cut, but I feel as though I had a bathing suit that was this pattern, or somebody I knew did. Oh my goodness, look at this little play set. The little to wooden toaster and toast with butter that you can even pretend to slice through. How fun is that for a child? Well, Target was bopping and it's pouring down rain and I booked it through the parking lot. Fortunately, I'm not too far from the door, but I still got splattered. I need to go run some errands, but I'm kind of just vegging out in the car a moment because I don't want to, I've got the heater going. It's like kind of cozy in here. And I know if I get out, I'm wearing shorts and my legs are going to get cold uh, when I go to my next destination. So this morning I took some time to edit what was yesterday's vlog, which you may have watched uh, that went up yesterday. And I was just thinking to myself how what a bummer it is that that Sprouts has gone out of business because I love shopping there and it's funny to me because every time I've gone in that Sprouts there's a decent a decent amount of shopping going on it doesn't look like it never looked as though they were hurting their shelves were always well stocked they always had like you know it the service was really good and I also think they had a good 
um, amount. I also think they had a decent amount of people doing, uh, whatchamacallit, Instacart, like getting grocery delivery from Sprout. So I'm really surprised that that location couldn't hack it. It's funny though, I heard that that location is cursed for all things that go there. Prior to Sprouts, it was like a Toys R Us, and people were really bummed when that went out of business. I mean, Toys R Us, didn't that go out of business everywhere? I think it did. Man, my hand, I was holding you guys at a funny angle in there, and I kind of cramped up my pinky finger. It feels weird, because I guess because of the cold, damp weather. In Colorado, I shopped at Sprouts all the time. Um, back when I was living there, it was, I, was, I would do Sprouts... Kroger and I was also shopping at Target a fair amount because I live next to like a big Target but now when I go into Target and I go through the grocery section a I find that they don't have the items that I typically buy they, they really don't have them and B I find that the things that I would buy there are just too, more expensive but you guys have said the opposite that you find that you get the best deals at Target so I guess it kind of depends on what you buy and probably where you live yeah, I don't do much shopping at Target. I go in there mostly to, to look and to be entertained. Target, to me, has become like what the movie theaters used to be. In that, I used to go to the movies when I, you know, like on the weekend, when I didn't feel like doing much productive, just kind of wanted to get out and see something, I'd go to the movies and be entertained. But movie theaters got really expensive, and now there's just like no movies that I want to see. And, you know, you, you can see a lot of movies from the comfort of your home too for less but target has just kind of become that version of entertainment for me like rather than scrolling social media i would much rather go to target and i know it sounds silly like people always joke about going to target i don't spend much money at target like i went in there spent i was probably in there for a good half an hour and i didn't spend any money but i was entertained <laughs> And I walked around, so that's much better than sitting on the couch, don't you think? Yeah, you can be a window shopper, and it's probably better for your health than sitting and scrolling, for sure. Going to Target has to be much better for your mental health than sitting on your phone scrolling social media. I think it's a better approach. Now, it can be harder on your wallet, although not really, because if you scroll on social media, you can easily become influenced to buy things that you wouldn't even know about let alone think that you could ever need, but social media will suck you in and make you think that you need to buy these things. Uh, anyway, I, I think I'm just going to head home because I don't want to deal with, with the rain. Ooh, get excited by this literature, the in-warehouse and online member-only savings. Bounty. Do y'all use these unstoppables in wash scent beads? I do not. They can be, this kind of thing can end up being really irritating to your skin. The scented scent beads, I know they're popular. Dawn Platinum Wash and Cascade. I always get the Kirkland dishwasher pods. They're really good value. They last a long time. Although my one gripe with them, here I'll show you. I dump them out and put them in this container that's meant for, I don't know, cereal. I got this at the grocery store a long time ago. But um, here's one that I have, I need to pour out. But this container, it's hard to get into, and it's like really rough plastic. Anyway, what else do they have? They have a Vitamix on sale this last couple of weeks of, looks like, comes with a tumbler and stainless steel straws. Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean, Miracle Grow, Apple AirPods. I have been really nervous to get AirPods because my ears are not accommodating <laughs> to anything like that. I have ears that just refuse to accept any sort of any sort of hearing thing. Avino Daily Moisturizing Lotion, five dollars off. That's a good deal. Colgate, six dollars off. Banana Boat, five dollars off for twelve ninety nine. The Hydro Boost Gel Cream Fragrance Free, nine dollars off. That's a good deal. Um, this I saw in my recent Costco Shop with Me video. 
and this. We're both in there. Check that video out. Should be up already. We also have this Pantene in there. You know, people like to rag on Pantene and they make up all of these stories about it, which are just not true. Like that it coats your hair. I mean, any shampoo can leave a residue on your hair, truthfully. You know, one thing I think people may have an issue with when it comes to Pantene, I wonder if they're just using too much shampoo volume and leaving a residue behind. I've talked about this before, but shampoo residue, they like you use too much shampoo volume and so you don't end up rinsing it all out. That can lead to build up on the hair, of course, but also on your scalp, can lead to a lot of scalp itch and irritation. And I'm wondering if that's something that doesn't happen with Pantene, which is what gives it a bad rap. People just aren't rinsing it out completely. I, I really do believe that is a common issue people run into with a lot of shampoos. They just don't end up rinsing them out. They use too much. Um, try, you know, cutting back on the volume of shampoo. I'm telling you, that shampoo brush, shampoo scalp brush I've been using has really made a huge difference in me cutting down on volume of shampoo. Anyway, Olay's Advanced Retinol 24 Plus Peptide, 12.50 off. Dang, that's a good deal. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, that Rock Neck Lifting Cream. I chatted with you guys about that in my Costco video. Yeah, definitely check out my Costco video. We go through all the skincare in there. Echo Tank Special Edition Super Tank Printer. I always want a printer. I don't have a printer, but I always think, gosh, it'd be really convenient. But they take up so much space and just, I don't know. They're always... They're high, printers are high maintenance. 32 degree cool, ooh, that's cute. A little ladies V-neck dress, $9.99. I'm telling you, the t-shirts by 32 degree, they are comfy. Linen blend shorts by Briggs, pants. Pendleton packable blanket. I have a Pendleton comforter, or, or just like a blanket that I got from Costco years ago, and it, it's held up really well over the years. Outdoor stuff. Samsung appliances. Then we've got K-Cups on sale. These chips are good. These Siete sea salt chips, those are pretty good. Oh, I love Blue Diamond Almonds. They're always good. $4.50 off. That's not a bad savings. Lotus Biscoff. $3 off. I've never tried the Kirkland Ultra Clean Free and Clear Laundry Detergent. I just restocked my... Um, I, I've been getting the Nellies from iHerb. Fragrance Free Laundry Soda. I, I rather like it. I like that and I like the Arm & Hammer Sensitive Skin. Out Shine Bars, $3 off. BB Go. They used to have a veggie one. I don't know if I dreamed that. Can't remember. I've heard good things about these True Bar protein bars. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried them. I'm not one to really eat protein bars unless I'm you know, traveling. I might have a few in my travel bag in case of a, a food emergency where I don't have uh, anything to eat, like on a plane that gets delayed. Protein bars are always good to have as a backup. Um, Parmesan cheese. For some reason, at this angle, I thought this was a container of dried onion. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. These Costco has been carrying for years, the biotin gummies. I've got videos talking about biotin, how it can cause problems with your blood work. So check those out. Natural Calm, I enjoy that. Magnesium supplement, I take it. I honestly just like the way it tastes. And magnesium is easy to be a little low on from time to time can lead to muscle cramps so i like it but of course always talk to your doctor before taking any kind of supplement Ooh, we've got allegra 850 that's a good deal the eight dollars off the allegra because allegra is expensive fexafenadine zyrtec eight bucks off allergy season 
Yeah, Costco is a good, good place to get that stuff. Here's the thing. When it comes to antioxidants, you know, it's the formulation overall that makes a huge difference in terms of the antioxidant stability, whether or not it gets in. I have a lot of confidence in niacinamide as an antioxidant. There's good research that it has good bioavailability. You put it on the skin, it gets in. It has a lot of benefits. I know a lot of you all don't tolerate it. Um, when it comes to the antioxidants in sunscreens, I have my doubts because, and I've said this for a while on this channel, there's a paper going back a while ago where they actually looked at the antioxidants in sunscreens. And because sunscreens form a film, the paper show that they really didn't, the antioxidants really didn't get into the skin and, and have much antioxidant activity. But every year, for the past, the past couple of years I've gone to the AAD meeting, I always attend the like, what's new in photo protection uh, talk. And the speakers there, they always talk about recommending sunscreens with antioxidants because it may protect again, you know, may offer some benefit for infrared radiation. Um, so they keep recommending it. I haven't seen convincing data showing, showing that the antioxidants get in. But I think clinically patients do see benefit so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of changing a bit and saying, hey, if the antioxidants in, are in there, maybe they're, they're adding some additional benefit. I'm kind of changing my tune, but I'm still suspicious that they, they get in in sunscreens. But that being said, I do use a lot of sunscreens that happen to have antioxidants. Por ejemplo, this. And I'm, I, I, at this point, you know, I don't feel as though I'm paying a lot extra. You know, at one point in the sunscreen market, Sunscreens with antioxidants were significantly more expensive than those without. But now the drugstore market, you're finding a lot of affordable sunscreens that have niacinamide and or some stabilized derivative of vitamin C that may have an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory effect on the skin surface. So I don't know. Uh, seems like if it's not hurting people, fine. But the more stuff you go adding in things, it's just like another culprit to cause irritation. Because I know a lot of you don't tolerate niacinamide. You're like, it's in that again? Speaking of sunscreens that don't have niacinamide, the Neutrogena Pure Screen, no niacinamide. Whew. Sometimes I get to talking on here and I forget to breathe. <laughs> like I forget to inhale. Does that ever happen to you when you're having a conversation you realize that you haven't taken a breath in or out. Where was I in my skincare routine? Um, I'm just gonna put a little of this. I'm almost, I'm down to, I'm down to the end of this black tea. I really liked it. I, I've liked it, but it's not, I'm kind of using it more just here are the cheeks because the rest of my face feels pretty moisturized. I'm gonna put my tretinoin on in a moment. Um, I really liked it, but not enough that I think I would repurchase it. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have tried it since I reviewed it. It's nice, right? If you tried it, well, do you agree or do you hate it? But as a brand, you know, Pion Kung Yule, you can't go wrong with it. Okay, I'm going to come in with my tretinoin. Said this last weekend, but if you missed last weekend's vlog, you may have missed this. I'm starting to see a difference, you guys. But you know, um, the backs of my hands. Gosh, I get ahead of myself sometimes. I'm starting to see a difference with the backs of my hands. See, I put the pearl of treadmill on. It was time to, it's almost time for a new tube here. I put the pearl on the back of my hand. I'm doing my right hand today because I normally do it on my left. Um, I'm going to start alternating that. Um, anyway, I'll show you the magic in the end so you know what I'm talking about. Put it on from my hand to my face. And I kind of go out and up. I just try and avoid my eyes. Like you can put Vaseline on your eyelids to keep keep it out of your eyelid area, but I don't do that so much and just kind of make sure I don't get it there. And I really like the cream personally. I find I can feel where I have it nicely and where I don't. Just a thin film. I mean, you really don't need very much and it spreads really well on the skin. Let's get this part of my face. All right, and then I take the backs of my hands and I rub them together. And I'm telling you, I should have been doing this from the start. I started using retinoids uh, in what, 26, 2017? January 2017, I started using different. And then a year or so later, I switched over to retinoid. I, sh I should have started doing this earlier, but I'm definitely seeing, seeing results. 
Funny enough, when I started using tretinoin on the back of my hands, I never got like a retinoid dermatitis. A benefit though, like I don't put it on the palms or sides of my fingers, but uh, if you have hand eczema, retinoids actually are a treatment for certain types of hand eczema and dyshydrosis, which personally I actually do deal with bouts of that from time to time. Like especially if I come in contact with nickel and I'm really stressed out, like that combination together, I can get dyshydrotic eczema, otherwise known as palm flicks, or you get those little beads that are super, super itchy and they leak clear fluid. I have all video on it, by the way. Yeah, when I get that, I have to rein in the moisturizing gloves. Um, I have a video on how to do those, by the way. Link. All right, guys. Oh, my hair sticks to me up. I got a little baby. Do you ever do that? You like pin your hair up, but you have a little baby hair that's kind of creeped in and now it's getting cold and it's like, ah, where is that coming from? It hurts. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I hope you're having a great weekend when you're watching this or maybe you're watching it during a week later on when you have a moment to take in all of the glory and the splendor. Uh, anyway, y'all, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.